Hey, welcome back to the channel. So recently over on my Twitch stream, we finally did the Hu Tao story quest. Now, I know it's been out for a very long time, but we finally got around to it. And surprisingly, it's probably one of my new favorite quests. Going into it, I thought it was gonna be boring, not gonna lie. But to my surprise, I absolutely loved it. I've used Hu Tao for a very long time, especially in Spiral Abyss and doing this quest has now made me appreciate her more as a character even though she probably looks at everybody and wishes they were dead anyway make sure to like comment and subscribe and enjoy the video why did we come here paimon's got a bad feeling about this isn't this area in hu tao's trailer um not that paimon scared or anything just uh concerned for your safety Oh, okay. Paimon's scared, dude. A <laughs> little baby. Lots of scary stories go. You're in an empty place in the middle of nowhere. There's barely any light, and then just when you least expect it, a stranger comes out of. <laughs> Not this guy, dude. <laughs> Quick, do something. Didn't you say you weren't scared though? Come on, you're fine. No, you'll be fine. Who are you? You're like a god. Uh, I'm a traveler. Traveler? Are you from one of the other nations? Uh, mm, no, I've never seen your kind of attire before. Uh, I'm sort of from like a different world. Could it be that you traveled from the other side? I mean, kind of. I'm just here for a funeral. I don't mean to offend. No matter who you are, there's no need for any ill will between us. Now we're good, but that goatee, though, that kind of makes me angry. This little goatee kind of makes... I don't know about that, dude. Ooh. Seems he's just your average scaredy cat. He looks more afraid than Paimon. Did I scare him? Yep, yep. You should leave the introductions to Paimon. You literally were terrified for, like, five seconds. Don't be afraid. We come in peace. Ah, gods protect me. What a scaredy cat, no, dude. No, You're no, fine. Stop freaking out and stand still. Relax. Relax? Yes, whatever you say. Please stay your hand. Don't come any closer. I mean you no harm. Who is this don't, guy? Don't touch me. Are we that ugly, chat? Are we that ugly? I already said nothing's gonna happen. This reminds me of that SpongeBob episode where like everyone was like horrified because SpongeBob thought he was ugly, but it was actually his breath. All right. Yet the butterfly flutters away. Let's start it out. Was it something Paimon said? No, I think your breath is just stinky. Him. He might do I mean, do they stupid. brush their teeth in Genshin Impact's world? You've never seen a character do it before, so maybe not. Hey, there's Hu Tao. <sighs> director, director, there's a ghost after me. Oh. <laughs> get too excited these are clients not ghosts i love hu tao's voice actress by the way i think it just fits her so well exactly we said we're not ghosts why won't you calm down and let us explain yeah dude although clients doesn't seem quite right either yeah forgive me this is one of our new undertakers mung it's mung. his first time okay. a funeral so among us he's afraid of his own shadow Funeral, funeral. Oh, the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Zhang Li's a consultant there. They deal with the stuff a lot, right? Oh, you know Zhang Li? Well, that saves me a lot of explaining. Yeah, he's like our best friend, Hu Tao. I'm Hu Tao, the current director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor, responsible for, uh, well, the trifling matters having to do with immortality. I never noticed her eyes have like this little like Patrick Star in the middle of them. Also. Is Hu Tao technically Zhang Li's boss at the funeral parlor since she's the director? Satisfying trade to be in, though. And Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor is well known around town. Whatever the request, I'd be glad to hear it. Uh, I don't think we fall into the client category. Yeah, if we are looking for Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's help, this is hardly the place we would come to. Dang, Paimon, come on now. Ah, oh, but you see, I wasn't referring to clients in the business sense. Everyone who enters this mortal realm will be a client of mine. Why should I say it like that? Oh, hello. <laughs> Sooner or later. Well, that's dark. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's really dark. The way she said, Sooner or later. 
you choose us, you'll never have to worry about what might be around the corner. But be sure huh. to book the right date. Pro tip, it is a living nightmare trying to get flowers at short notice. <sighs> Good to know. How am I supposed to book a date? How am I supposed to know when I die? Speaking of dates, if you're struggling to decide, please do come and talk it over. I'd hate to see you still alive and kicking when your big day comes. Why does she... Why is she going to say it like that? Also, I love her face right here. That's so funny. Oh, slow down. She really wants us dead for her business. That's, you, there's a lot to unpack here. That all sounded very bizarre. <laughs> You'll have to excuse her. The director is a rather unique individual. Allow me to explain. Please explain, because I'm beyond confused and a little petrified. We'd heard that there have been some supernatural activity at Wuong Hill. Mm -hmm. To restore calm here, we performed a funeral ceremony. Okay. It went very smoothly. According to the director, we shouldn't be expecting any more issues in the near future. Wong Sheng Funeral Parlor, hmm. Wuong Hill, Funeral. What more is there to say? These three belong in the same sentence. I want her as a profile picture now. Like the, the way she makes her face, like, I love it, dude. She's so cute. You two, on the other hand, have no business coming to Wuong Hill. You being here is not normal. Um, maybe your understanding of normal isn't quite normal. I'm here on an adventure. Adventure? <laughs> you must hail from the Adventurers Guild. Kind of. Then you are one of our distinguished clients. Would, to be precise. Would? What does that mean? Would? <laughs> Paimon's asking the real questions here. Just how we gauge our clients' importance. What? We have four levels: wicker, bamboo, wood, and marble. Oh, and so I'm not good enough for marble. Like to get to know you. I'm falling in love with Hu Tao. But I've just only heard of this. Well, that's because I only just thought of it. What? Don't look so shocked. Wait, what? You just came up with the rules? You don't do that. Oh, take a look. Our adventurers spend the whole day scaling mountains. Clearing domains and smiting enemies. Danger and peril are their bread and butter. True. Clients like these deserve better treatment. Taking an interest in their daily lives will ultimately benefit not only them, but also me. Uh, charming. Oh, touched a nerve, did I? I'd have thought any adventurers who dare come here would be used to conversations like this. She is so sassy. So sassy. Look at her face. Zoom in on her face. She's so sassy. She doesn't care. She's the director. She doesn't give a shit. Anyway, I have a favor to ask. Recently, Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor has been trying to strike a business deal with the Adventurers Guild. With you acting as an intermediary, it would be so much easier. Hu Tao really said, if natural causes don't kill you, then I will. <laughs> Fags, dude. I don't really want to take part in your business. Let me think what I could offer you as a reward. Or perhaps there's a favor I could do in return? Ah, we're Maybe. looking for someone. We've asked a lot of people, but nobody seems to have a clue where they are. This seems like something right up my alley. I can even inquire with the ones who no longer speak for you. Oh, she's an empath, chat. She's an empath. You see? Helping me will be worth your while. Come on, then, my able assistants. Let's get down to Liyue Harbor and do some business. Okay. Uh, Let's do it. I'm in. I'm in. Bro. Who Tao, dude? Kind of creepy. The, ones who no longer speak. the thing is about Hu Tao is, like, I've had her as a character, but we've, we've never done this quest, right? So, like, this is my first time doing... Like getting to know her as a character, I think I'm gonna appreciate her a lot more. To the dead? Ugh, you again. Look, I told you, we're not interested in the kind of cooperation you describe. Come on, there's no reason to get upset. Come on, just meet me in the back well, alley real quick. Well, Pull the knife out. An avid supporter of my proposition. Just hear her out. Oh, since our last negotiation, I've come up with a new proposal, which I think you'll find has far more benefits for you. I don't know what kind of uh what kind of benefits are there. First things first. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor will prioritize the Adventurers Guild requests above all others. You'll also receive 100 of our signature wooden coffins for free together with your first order. 
Huh. That's not all. We also provide an on-site cadaver collection service covering almost all regions in Leo. What? We do charge a slight premium for a very small number of especially dangerous areas, but but don't you worry about that. I promise you it's still very affordable. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't think you're hearing me. Okay, all right. I get it. You want to bargain a little more, but our offer is I don't think so. already quite a good deal, don't you think? I don't think she wants any sort of business with us. Just think about it. An adventurer's life is full of unexpected threats. It's only natural to take precautions. Mend the roof before it rains, as they say. Yeah, no. I'm not so sure that saying applies in this context. <laughs> What's her name? Lan? Lan does not like Hu Tao. Speaking of precautions, I'd rather focus on keeping my adventurers safe in the first place. That's true. I agree. It's time for you to go. I have to attend to other matters. <gasps> Did she just out girl boss Hu Tao? Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, what would you say to a group discount? 30% off for parties of 10? Director, please, you did your best. We don't need another clash with the Millilith. Uh, if Paimon understood huh. all that correctly, it seems like she's trying to sell them the funeral parlor services. I side with Lan on this issue. Uh, yeah, nothing left to do here. <sighs> Let's go back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. All right. I guess that's a lost cause. It's okay. Rejecting a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I threw I threw Oh no. I didn't mean to throw Ushi at you. I'm sorry. Matter of time. Ushi, let's go. We've already embarrassed ourselves. <sighs> Seems like the old ways are the most reliable after all. Mun, are you done preparing our promotion? We're going to have to kill her. <laughs> nah. My apologies. I'm only about halfway through. Really? I really think they will be effective. Trust me, they're going to work wonders. This marketing strategy has been used by Wangsheng Funeral Parlor for generations. What do we have to do? Also, I love that she's a business lady. Clients in need come to our door and write down their commissions on blank wooden tiles. Uh -huh. Then they squeeze those inside the parlor through the crack under the door. Okay. I fulfill the request written on each tile to make sure our clients are satisfied with the service, no matter if it's an obituary, cremation, or funeral that they seek. I feel like that's a lot of work, though. Although, it is a bit of a hassle with the constant back and forth. If only we could burn them by the batch. No, Director, I'm not asking about the wooden tiles themselves, but about psycho. the special offer they advertise. Special offer? <laughs> Wangsheng Funeral Parlor should keep up with the times. Just think about it. If we don't attract new clients, we'll be left with nothing, won't we? That is true. This development is a crucial element of every prosperous enterprise. I've been trying various marketing strategies ever since I became the director. She's got a marketing degree, you can tell. Who does design is so good. I love her design so much. I love how long her hair is and everything. I put up posters just like all the other shops. But the Millilith promptly removed them. Mm. Then I organized the Wangsheng Visitor's Day, but no one showed up. Well, that doesn't come as a huge surprise. <laughs> oh my god, Paimon. And finally, I discovered that the traditional ways are the most reliable after all. I took inspiration from the wisdom of previous directors. Who was the previous director to Hu Tao? Do we know that? Lore or no? So now, I go from door to door looking for people and organizations willing to cooperate. Just like during our visit to the Adventurers Guild. That's what I mean by business development. The other method okay. I'm trying is using the wooden tiles as coupons. Just by writing things like, buy one, get one free for the holder of this tile on them. So, okay. she She's the director of a funeral parlor. So the business is like a funeral home, right? So her business is in people dying. How do you do a buy one, get one? How do you do a buy one, get one? Un unless they just sell coffins. Design-wise, Hu Tao is one of my favorite characters. I mean, Hu Tao is like the 77th boss of the parlor. True. What do they buy and what do they get? A solid and durable second home, of course. What does that even mean? Have you done this quest? Uh, Alex, the Hu Tao story quest. I'm just now getting to it. They may not need it right away, but they can be sure that when they do, it will still be as good as new. She's kind of a psycho. It won't She's kind of a psycho. deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor quality guarantee. 
It won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. <laughs> Wait, wh wh <laughs> what? <laughs> it won't start deteriorating before you finish doing so yourself. That's the Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor Quality Guarantee. Mm. <laughs> oh my God, dude. She seems fun. I love her. She's a great character. I've never like known the lore or anything about her. I've just used her. So like, this is making her 10 times better so far. I'm loving it. All right, Mung. Keep adding those She's special offers to the wooden tiles. The future of our business depends on it. <sighs> I would so actually low-key want to work for her. Oh, I get it. You think that our special offer is not comprehensive enough, right? Correct, probably. It's true. I was offering all kinds of great benefits to the Adventurers Guild because they are a new client. Mm -hmm. But in doing so, I neglected my old clients. <sighs> You're right. It's unfair. Literally every phone company on the face of the planet Earth. They have amazing deals for new customers, but never good deals for their current customers, right? Hmm. Let me do some market research. Wait here, my faithful assistants. I'll be back with you in a moment. It shouldn't take too long. Okay. I already told you we're not your assistants. I'm on sh we can be whatever Hu Tao wants us to be. Guess we got dragged into somebody else's business again. Let's look around while she's away. You must be the director's new husband. Fairy lady. Yes. Not us. We're just very curious about Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and Hu Tao. Well, I wouldn't get too curious if I were you. Too much knowledge isn't good for ordinary folk. Yo, that is some good, uh, what's it called? Good advice for real life. You don't want to know too much, you know? What's this? Examine the board. A board used for hanging Wangsheng Funeral Parlor wooden tiles. According to Fortu Hu Tao, all the tiles should be blank. In which case, the characters on the back of the tiles must be the special offer. Got it. Let's go in. I, I don't think, have I ever been in here? So behind this door is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. It looks far more ordinary than the directors made it out to be. It's probably better. There's, there's, what? Wait, what? I have played this game for more than a thousand hours at this point. Ten months. There is a chest right here that I have never gotten. That's settled then. Write it like this. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Bumper Buy Sale? Buy one, get one free. Buy two, get three free. More for your Mora. <laughs> Translation. Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Bumper Sale. Die once. Get another death for free. Two people die get three for free more for your money oh my god dude i knew <laughs> I that love it better than all that lifeless brochure stuff we want people to feel warm and fuzzy i guess uh, but director isn't lifeless the name of the game in this industry that's old hat we're opening up new ground okay uh, we're innovating why does Wong funeral parlor need to open up but <sighs> Yes, director. Right, we should get going. I am not letting new business escape us. Let's do it. We'll be hungry. <sighs> As in us. us. Yes, we does mean us. <laughs> Who else? Do you see anyone else around here? Oh, well, you probably wouldn't see them if there was. What? Does she see ghosts? Can she see dead people? Stop adding little afterthoughts like that. It creeps people out. No, I love it, dude. <laughs> Just a joke. Sorry. Everything you see is everything that's present, for the moment at least. Uh, comforting. Lighten up. The way I see it, people make death scarier than it really is. I mean, yeah, that's true. What people truly fear about departing this world is suffering and regret. To deal with the trauma, they let their imaginations run wild with notions of ghosts and evil spirits. Okay, now she's spitting facts, dude. People only are afraid of death because of suffering and regret baseless fantasies what we've ended up with is a topic that people are morbidly afraid of talking about if i don't broach the subject then wang sheng funeral parlor won't be long for this world okay oh more approachable and appeasable than you'd imagined uh, i wouldn't say that huh let's just say at least it didn't hurt us facts interesting dude i gotta remember that this takes place way early on too you must have come across a particularly ferocious entity. 
How should I put this? What ghost did we Your fight? Spirits are incapable of harming ordinary folks. This takes place a long time ago. The job of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is to guard the border between life and death. One component of this is correcting notions of death and the afterlife that people may hold. Simply put, for those unable to see the border, they're best kept as far away from it as possible. Mm -hmm. So for ordinary folks, the best case scenario is ignorance of all matters concerning spirits in the afterlife, or even better, a belief that none of it exists. Huh. Then you really don't have any excuse for spooking the heck out of people. No, no, I'm all for it. I love it. <laughs> you make it sound so abominable. I'm just trying to get them to see the humor in it all. That's why people think you're weird. <laughs> never thought you'd be such a bore. Never mind. If you stick by me, everything will become clear. See, Hu Tao is not serious. You know, she just jokes around. She's weird, quirky. I think Hu Tao would probably make the best partner in this game. I'm calling it right now. Turkey, welcome back. All right, let's get going. Follow me. Director, wait. Let's do it. What about Big G? Don't forget. Who? Big G? What the hell is that? Big G? Who's that? We've been in Lila for ages and never heard that name. Big gargantuan gangster. Oh, nothing. Just something mung has been pleading with me to take care of. Should be a piece of cake. Huh. Okay. This is a potential client with Hu Tao. Easy. Let's go do it. Client. Uh, sorry. Who are you? Hello, I'm Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. She's so quirky. I love it. Okay, so why would someone from Wangsheng Funeral Parlor be looking for me? Because you're about to die. <laughs> Stabs. <laughs> mm, nothing major. How are you feeling these days? Any aches or pains? <laughs> she just like goes around and like, so, hey, how are you feeling today? She's like dying. Your ankles are in pain. Your back hurting. Mind is kind of going aloof. How do you feel about dying? You shouldn't ignore them, by the way. Very often, they're an omen of something terminal. What? When we're healthy, it's easy to forget the crushing fragility of life. So, aches and pains. Best to keep an eye on them. Dude. <laughs> I'm loving this quest so far. She's like, you best keep an eye on your aches and pains. Otherwise, you might die. And you wouldn't want that. I know I would. But you wouldn't. <laughs> what are you getting at? I'm in great health and enjoying life very much, thank you. Great health, huh? Go and find some other poor soul. Goodbye. All right. That didn't go too well. I think, Huta, we got to change our way, our approach. We got to change our approach. That's so funny. All right. Who's this guy? Mumu. Be quick. I'm busy. Hello there. Would you be interested in understanding a bit about our services at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? Uh, I'm not in need of your services. So you're out here looking for new customers? Don't you think this might be a bit of a crass way of going about it? I was going to say, yeah, a little bit. Hardly. Isn't this the fashion these days? Bring the service to the customer and all that. We're a funeral parlor. I'm not sure it's every service that falls into that. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that's so funny. Uh, anyway, please bother someone else if you don't mind. I don't think every business should be doing that. Uh, another failure. Still. Don't worry, we'll find someone who wants to die. <laughs> I know your face. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor Director, right? I'm sorry, I'm really in no need of it. Don't apologize, get to know us. We've got a new sale going on. Don't apologize. Let's get to know each other. We've got a great sale that you're... We have got a great sale that is to die for. Ever hear the saying, <laughs> out with the old, in with the new? Well, going out with a bang is the best way to start off in style on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you're telling this young, healthy lady, it's like, if you're ready to die... Why not go out in style? If you keep talking like this, I'll have to call the Millilith. No, no, no. Okay, relax. We're leaving. But Wangsheng Funeral Parlor awaits your distinguished patronage. This is the best quest so far. Really this is so funny, dude. To <sighs> Tough crowd. Hmm? Are you trying to make me feel better? Yeah, of course. 
Thank you. Seems you understand me far better than most people. That's kind of sad. Not really. This is just getting really uncomfortable. <laughs> Enough business development. Please, help me find someone. Business development? Is that what you see this as? Surely you don't think all that was business development. What was it? And what was it exactly? Traumatization for its own sake? Traumatization? No, no, no. The business development ended after the discussion with the Adventurers Guild. <laughs> I was helping to find somebody for Mung. You remember Big G? Uh, rings a bell? It turns out, the Big G that Mung is looking for is a ghost adrift in the mortal realm. We're looking for a ghost? The three we saw just now were all people I suspected of being followed by Big G. But having seen them, I didn't sense the presence of anything otherworldly. Wait, oh, that's what we're doing. Whoa, okay. So we just had a quick chat, and I left it at that. <laughs> I wonder what business development looks like. you say so? Paimon thought you had some kind of sixth sense for a... Uh, people declining in health. health. <laughs> I can sense that you're about to die in five days, four hours and 32 seconds from now. 30 seconds from now. Huh? What would I need that kind of ability for? I'm no doctor. The, f the funeral... Okay. <laughs> Were you seriously hoping that the director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was going to start healing people? Or... No. I was trying to subtly imply that... Oh my god, dude. This is a mess. This is a mess. Paimon wouldn't know how to explain subtlety in a way you'd understand. Well, let's leave that for now and head back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. This Big G matter is very closely linked to Meng. Okay. Meng, I'm back. I'm afraid we're still no closer to finding Big G. Dang, so Big G's a ghost. I see. Well, I'm just sorry for the trouble. I've already searched in all the likely places. Who is this big G anyway? Uh, it's Pop Smoke's ghost. I guess I should start at the beginning. My home was in the vicinity of Wuong Hill. In my youth, I had a good many friends there. Big G was one of them. We were the best of friends. Inseparable, really. Mm-hmm. One day, there was an accident, and that was the end of him. Oof. I've never forgotten. Too many memories, I suppose. I often return to Wuong Hill. But recently, after one such visit, I started to feel strange. Now, every night, Big G appears in my dreams. That's creepy. I can't help but wonder, did I disturb him somehow? That sounds like a tall story. Perhaps. I don't have proof, but I can't stop worrying. I get more anxious every day. Maybe Mung is the one getting haunted by Big G. But for some reason, Hu Tao can't tell? How would I ever come to terms with my childhood friend becoming an evil spirit? <sighs> That's why he joined Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. In place of a salary, I'm helping him deal with this matter. Really? Interesting. And in fact, what Mung has said is entirely plausible. Spirits on occasion do find a way into our world. But as huh. for evil spirits, I think you're scaring yourself. Even I have only encountered malevolent forces a handful of times. A handful is more than enough. But are you sure there's no danger? I couldn't bear for him to go around harming people. You see what I mean? Look at the state of him. If we can't find Big G, it'll eat away at Monk forever. We have to find Big G. To ask him to lurk, I appreciate you. Those people we found today were also Monk's childhood friends. I thought there was a oh. good chance Big G might have hidden among them. But here we are, empty-handed. Oh, got you. Okay, so that's why we did that. Wong Hill, childhood friends? <sighs> Seems like we're out of leads. Who's this guy? Uh, sorry, excuse me. Is this Wangsheng Funeral Parlor? My name's Luo yes. Chung. I've had this awful feeling recently, like something's staring at me. This guy's possessed. Some of my friends and I went to Wuwang Hill the other day on a dare. After I returned home, I fell ill. 
I've been having recurring nightmares, but the doctors can't find anything wrong with me. I think that... I think he's haunted. It's a curse, right? I've been cursed by a demon. Or Big Say G. No There's no doubt it's a demonic curse, all right. And a serious one at that. So does the funeral parlor also, like, deal with, like, exorcisms, maybe? You believe so, too? That it's just like they say in the tales of old. The vengeful spirits of the gods who fell in the Archon War return to cast their evil curses upon mortals. Oh my god, I don't think it's that serious. If the serious. curse isn't lifted, it will burn through the body, laying waste to flesh and bone. Jesus. Oh, what a wretched end. The symptoms I'm having are just like those described in the tales. Okay, maybe it is serious. Oh, Wong Hill? Hmm. No, I don't think it was a curse. It was probably just Big G. Hold your horses, both of you. There's no need to creep each other out. I love how she's just so chill about it all. Isn't that exactly what you like to do, though? Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor specializes in demonic stuff like this, right? Help me. Also, they I do. Know. Okay, so it's not just like a to die. funeral parlor. They also do, like, live curses and stuff, right? All right, all right. Okay. Don't panic. Leave it to me. You've come to the right person. We got this, dude. No However, worries. However, in order to lift the curse... We need a suitable location, and we need to make some preparations. And it'll also be $50,000, please. Come with me, my trusty assistants. I'm going to need your help. I kind of like it when she calls us a little assistants. Uh, it's cute. I guess I'll come too. Help him make the preparations first. The incense exorcism, the one I taught you. When you're ready, come Let's go. find me. Once we've finished with this, we'll get back to the big G matter. Okay, I guess. Right. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So, what mysterious rituals are you going to perform here? No ritual at all. We just need to kill some time. Aha. Kill some time. <laughs> Wait. You didn't take all that vengeful god's curse stuff seriously, did you? <laughs> they were eradicated ages ago. Wait, so then why are we here? You saw those two. One thinks he's been cursed, and the other one believes his friends turned into an evil spirit. It's hard to reason with them. <laughs> oh my god. Now you see why I believe that ordinary folks should be kept in the dark. I've seen too many people this lose is their so senses funny. on account of things like this. If you want to calm them down, you need to convince them with something tangible. Okay. And the best way to do that is to make a great show of destroying the boogeyman they believe in before their very eyes. I have a feeling that in the end of this quest, it will be a real ghost and then Hu Tao will get scared, I think. That might work if you were trying to cheer up a three-year-old. Aren't you a three-year-old? Isn't it better to tell people the truth? <laughs> oh, how old are you, Paimon? Why would you ask that? <laughs> Paimon just wants to know why we can't tell everyone the truth. Because you can't guarantee that telling an ignorant person the truth will improve the situation instead of exacerbating it. Yo, that just that is so smart. Yeah, that actually, like, in real life, too. What I can do is pretend to pull back anyone who believes their time is nigh. But since the curse is imaginary, our fix will also be make-believe. Makes sense. A make-believe curse. Why would anyone believe that it's a curse? Do you know the history of the Yaksha? <gasps> Shall? I do. I do. They once fought against the ancient gods. They fought brilliantly in a battle that engulfed the whole world in darkness. Yep. Although the gods were defeated in the end... Their resentment persevered. Hmm. That resentment turned into a pestilence spreading amongst the ordinary folk. Hysteric people mistook it for the curse of the gods. The plague took the lives of many, which only furthered its spread, as the dead were a breeding ground for the disease. Oh, okay. Then someone discovered how to prevent it from spreading, purify the air, and burn the bodies of the deceased. The pioneers of these practices were, you guessed it, the founders of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Now it all makes sense. Okay. Paimon that makes sense. I see that coming. Really? Yes. Anyway, it took many years, but eventually the plague was completely eradicated. Hmm. <sighs> We've dealt with similar phenomena multiple times throughout the ages. Each time we successfully restored the balance between life and death. To sum it up, we are gatekeepers. Guarding the border for the sake of both the living and the dead. <laughs> so that's what you meant by guarding the border. So when I say this curse is just a figment of the imagination, I say it with more certainty than most. 
But I also can't really go telling people that the ancient plagues were real or it would incite panic. Oh, yeah, so you have to kind of keep them in the dark. That makes sense. <sighs> anyway, let's wait a bit more and get ready for the show. This ley line monolith will make for a really great prop. Oh, a prop? Okay. <laughs> oh, you're finally here. We just finished our preparations. Now, look here. This device is used to drive away evil spirits. It'll absorb the curse inside you and cause it to take a physical form. But don't worry. The traveler oh. here is a seasoned warrior and will assure our safety. Doing the dirty work again. All right. I forgot to tell you. <laughs> It'll be fine. Will that really solve my problem? Yes. Trust the director. She might look like a weirdo, <laughs> but she's serious about everything she does. Who says that? Yeah, she might look like a weirdo, but she's serious. Is that a compliment or not? How can you call me a weirdo? Yeah, that was rude. Wouldn't you say it's more charmingly naive or disarmingly different? I would just say charming and cute. <laughs> All right, let's get down to business. My glamorous assistant, please activate the device. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. This is so cute. Okay, activate the device. Start. Is it I did it. Possible to materialize the curse? Yes, and it's okay. I've got Edo, dude. Hey, stop running away, dude. Hello? Don't run away from me. Uh, is there like health supposed to be like? Hey, hey, hey. Here we go, baby. I got this. So we have to defend this thing? Oh, that's like the worst, like, commission. Take this. 30,000. You're dead. There we go. We did it. Easy peasy. Did the curse leave your body? Yes. I feel more invigorated than ever before. So it's like a placebo effect is what it is. Uh, I can't express how grateful I am for your and the Traveler's help. If it hadn't been for you, the curse would have taken my life. Yeah. Yeah, no, for real. I'm glad that you you, you seeked help, for sure. Oh, great. In which case, I guess now I can tell you. Da, 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 you've been pranked. Oh my god, so we told him in the end anyway? <laughs> we told him in the end? Uh... What? This exorcism device? People like you wouldn't recognize it, but it's just an old ley line monolith, deceptively effective at attracting monsters. Oh my god, we bamboozled them. And those were real monsters, not a manifestation of your curse. <laughs> so riddle me this. If I didn't do anything to lift the curse, then what's the cause of your sudden recovery? She just turned the tables on them. The curse wasn't real? Never. It was never real. Then why was I sick? Well, you caught a cold, ate something bad, or just scared yourself sick. It's anyone's guess, but I'm leaning towards the last option. Wouldn't be the first time in my career. How unexpected. Mm. I also didn't expect that, but uh, still, I'd like to thank you. Of course. Uh, don't mention it. I found a way to deal with your fears this time, but I can't do it over and over again. So I'd appreciate it if you try not to give in to superstitions in the future. Human life is short. Enjoy it while it lasts. That's the first time we've heard her say that, by the way. She's always talking about death. Wow. I... Uh, what a weird thing to say. Uh, I... I shall head back. I'm sorry for troubling you. I feel relieved to huh. see that it wasn't Big G's doing. However, unless he crosses the border, there will be no end to his antics. Mm-hmm. Since we are done with the matter at hand, can we resume our search for Big G? I believe that won't be needed. He found us first. Big G? Wait, what? Uh, um, I what? didn't mean to bother you. <laughs> Never mind. Any of you. This is Big G? He's just a child? But he's the biggest gangster in Leeway, baby. Oh, well, <laughs> he is a spirit. Quite normal that he looks just like he did when he left this world. So when he died when he was a kid, that's actually freaking sad, dude. Um, that's not what Paimon imagined when Paimon first heard the name Big G. Oh, that's sad. Well, let's bring him back to Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. We have much to do. 
So Big G is actually real. Okay, never mind. I didn't expect to stumble upon Big G just like that either. <laughs> yeah, facts, dude. I'm not surprised in the slightest. Remember what I said? There's only so many evil spirits in this world. That's true. It was a twist of fate that made him leave Wuang Hill in the first place. Now, for some reason, he can't go back. Oh, so he's like stuck here for some reason. This explanation sounds a bit far-fetched to Paimon. Actually, she pretty much summed it up. Huh? <laughs> Don't ever question my professional instincts. <laughs> Don't ever question me again. <laughs> I love her, dude. I just wanted to check up on my friends. That's why I came to Liyue Harbor. You just wanted to check up on your your friends that grew up, dude? I oh, promise nice. I wasn't up to any mischief. I never wanted to scare anyone. Well, a few days ago, some people came to Wuong Hill on a dare. I heard them saying they come from Liyue Harbor, so I followed one of them back and ended up here. Oh, it must have been poor Luo Cheng that he followed. Maybe he didn't notice you, but he could still feel your presence. Now we know what caused his nightmares. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I so I guess we're going to have to figure out how to send him back to heaven or whatever exists in so, Genshin. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been scared half to death. Why didn't you come looking for Meng sooner? Yeah. Tell and Mung were searching for you all over the place. Oh, that's because I couldn't find them. It's my first time in Liyue Harbor, and I got lost in the city. Understandable. Now that you mention it, Big G always had a poor sense of direction. When we were kids, he'd never go down the hill by himself. We always had to lead him. Okay. So all of this was just because you got lost? <laughs> oh my god, dude. Gooster spirit, don't you think it's much easier to find your way? From Maybe up ghosts above? can't fly, Paimon. I can't. It's too high for me. I get scared. Oh, so he can. He just doesn't want to do it. That's right. Yes, he used to be so afraid of heights that he wouldn't even so much as look down the hill. Hmm. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Well, good thing they didn't call you Tall G. I knew I was supposed to <laughs> Such a bad joke. And with so many people walking around Leo Harbor, my only choice was to hide. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have found you if it weren't for the Leyline Monolith's call. Hey, so two birds, one stone, Hu Tao. Maybe she knew what she was doing. I'm so relieved that you haven't become an evil spirit. Like I said, don't ever doubt my professional instincts. God, I love her. <laughs> no, all we have to do is escort this lost child back to Wuong Hill. And we should be done and dust to dusted. Bet. But he just said he wanted to visit his friends. Apart from me, there's also little Wu, Mu Mu, and Songza. Well, Songza. If that's the case, we can't let him down. Wait, what? We're, We're gonna take go him out on the, uh, the town? A farewell ceremony for Big G. Okay. Mung and I will escort Big G back to Wulong Hill. You meet with those three and ask them for keepsakes to symbolize each one of them during the ritual. Then come and find us. Bet. Let's do it. They're all friends. Can't we just go there all together? Or maybe we can take Big G to them. Um, that's not a good idea. I don't want to scare them. Yeah. Hmm, I wouldn't want ordinary folks to become superstitious. The less they know, the better. So okay. be careful what you say when you collect the keepsakes. Okay, so we have to watch what we say. Got it, got it. Are you really going with Hu Tao's plan? Uh, hi. <laughs> Do you remember us? <sighs> Oh my god. Sorry, I won't be needing the funeral parlor services anytime soon. Uh, Mung said that he's an old friend of yours. <sighs> yes, we grew up together. We still keep in touch even now. Okay, good to know, good to know. I don't know why he started working for Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. To be honest, I find their director to be quite peculiar. Hey, that's our girlfriend. <laughs> but he must have had his reasons. He's on his own now, after all. And he still can't get over what happened to Big G. Did mm. he tell you about it? Yeah. Yeah, he, he did. did. Um, if you could pick one thing to give to Big G as a keepsake, what would you choose? What a random segue, Paimon. Just, you know, theoretically speaking, we're just being hypothetical here. Definitely not gonna actually go commemorate him or anything. Oh my god, Paimon, shush it, please. That's a little bit too on the nose. I... I'd cook something for him. Oh, he could eat spicy food like no other. 
His favorite meal was extra spicy Jue Yun chili chicken. Okay. I can make it for you if you bring me some Jue Yun chilies. I'm sure I think you I have appreciate some. the flavor of his childhood years. I still use that old recipe. Deal. Just give us a minute. I think I have some. Hopefully I have some. Here. Jue Yun chilies are a common sight in Liu. Ah, I have plenty. Oh, you only need one? Okay, here you go. Make that chili, baby. I haven't had enough. chili in a long time. I'll get started on the Julian chili chicken. I guess you've got other folks to track down. Yes. When everyone's ready, I'll get the dish over to you. Okay. Easy peasy, chat. Wait, yeah. How did he know about the others? Wait, what? Uh, not you again. I told you, I'm not interested in the inner workings of Wang Sheng Funeral Park. No, 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 Mumu. This is different. Mom told us about you. You're good friends, right? Uh, that's true, yes. Uh, come to think of it, I remember he did join Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor recently. He did, but that has nothing to do with this. It didn't take long for his good friends to figure out why. Uh, the Big G incident. But I know there's nothing we can say to help him get over it. Letting go of the past is a painful process. Mm. I would know. I wonder, do we get to figure out what the accident was? That's what I'm hoping for. So, is Big G the reason you're here to see me? Yes. How did you know? We didn't even say anything. <laughs> I'm a businessman. I've got a sixth sense for this kind of thing. Everyone hears the name Moo Moo and thinks I must be dim-witted. Uh, I no. I didn't think I that at show. all. But I'd say I proved a few people wrong. Here, take this. It's a top-of-the-line toy box we all dreamed of owning as kids. Back then, none of us could afford it. We were penniless. I think they're all onto us. Today, business is booming. I ended up buying loads of these. It was a dream come true. Wow. That's so sweet. You must be like super rich. <laughs> uh, for me, it's <laughs> that's a rich guy laugh right there, dude. Childhood long gone. Without it, we wouldn't be where we are today. So, having found me, I guess you'll be looking for little Wu and Songza next. Yes. I saw little Wu. Now we gotta find Songza. I see. If it's Songza you're after, let's meet at the overpass at Feiyun Slope. It's just above the stairs. Oh, you don't have to come, to Mumu. You know, we can do this by ourselves. I've got an errand to run. I'll come find you as soon as I'm done. You're all here. Reminiscing about old times, thinking back to mm. past events. We've been at it for years. Hometown was completely destroyed in a disaster. So. We've got nowhere to go back to. Oh, there was now, a flood. Oh, God. Wherever friends are. They've just been telling me you're looking for keepsakes. I make artisan sail lanterns down by Liyue Harbor. I guess they represent me better than anything. A few days ago, I bought some quality plostrite shards. They're currently all in the warehouse at the dock. I've already spoken to the manager. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? Uh, I guess. Seems like you already know what's going on. Be back in a jiffy. All right, let's go. All right, what's your name? Hi, we're here to pick up the plastrite shards for Sansa. I think she mentioned it. Yes, here you are on the register. No problem. Hey, thank you. Plastrite shards are over in that crate there. Please help yourselves. What a nice warehouse manager. That is completely unrealistic. Doesn't seem like they're here. Doesn't seem like they're here. Let's look. There we go. We got it. Sansa was talking about. All right, let's go. Thanks to both of you. This looks like great stuff. Please, wait a moment. This is the final step. Okay. Unzoom mounts, okay. okay. There we go. I wrote all five of our names inside the lantern. You know, during the annual lantern rite, we all release a lantern like this. Oh. No matter what the days may bring, whichever roads we choose to take. While this rite remains observed, each of us remains the same. Hmm. As for the matter of Big G, the three of us have discussed amongst ourselves and agreed we won't press you on it. Well, that's good. I'm glad. But if you get the chance, please let them know we're doing well. This is getting sadder by the moment, dude. Oh, okay, we'll... Hypothetically, let him know. And that the things we once spoke of, they've all come to pass. And count on us. Thank you. We'll pass it on. 
fun. Big T is lucky to have friends like you. Dude, that is Loki so sad. Okay. We got everything we need. All right, we got everything Let's we needed. Go Let's go. Oh, you're back already? Sooner than I expected. You didn't go spilling the beans, did you, Paimon? No. Does Paimon look that unreliable to you? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I'm kidding. Anyway, looks like they were willing to hand over some keepsakes. So I guess they knew the deal. Pretty much. They, they they caught on. We didn't say anything, though. Nevertheless, when it comes to things like ghosts and ghouls, spirits and souls, the one thing everyone knows is you never know what to expect. I Honestly, this story quest has been taking me for a whirlwind. Which explains why they were reluctant to pry and find out the full story. <sighs> Which is just as well. Because if they had attempted to, it would have been too much for me to deal with. I can't tell if you're serious anymore. <laughs> Guard the border between life and death. This is Wangsheng Funeral Parlor's most important responsibility, and I'm stricter than most. So what about us? Does it matter if we cross the border? Of course not. After all, you were caught up in all this already, just like Meng. It's not the end of the world if you catch a glimpse behind the curtain. So she, okay. And where we're going, don't be surprised at what you may see or what may occur. Wait, where are we going? All of it exists within the border between the living and the dead. An ordinary place, really. The only special thing about it is that nobody really knows about it. Okay. Whatever you do, don't get all worked up over nothing, okay? Or else by the time we're out, I'll have to erase your memories. She can't do that, can she? I'm unscared. But like Huta says, we're already caught up in this. We better see it through to the end. All right. I mean, we're already this far. We might as well, right? Oh my god, Hu Tao is on life support. Let's eat up a little bit. But not like the hell or underworld from the tales of old. This is just a place where the ley lines tend to go a little bit haywire. Okay, this is fitting to use uh, Hu Tao. What is this? That pattern looks familiar. From the right angle, you can make out the whole thing. What's this do? Uh, Callus, I think they'll follow. I appreciate you. Welcome in. We're having a great day so far. What's that? Wait, what happened? What is this? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. I'm getting scared over nothing. Illusion shattered. Go. Go, Hu Tao. Time to go. Nice. This place doesn't feel at peace. That's why There's a lot of monsters here. Probably the Hu Tao trial though. Could be. When is Hu Tao never on life support? That is very true. Very true. Pipe Dream. You too. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate you. How's your day going? I am new. I came from your trailer reaction. My God. Hey, okay, welcome it's in. happening. Everybody, oh, stay calm. What's, What's the procedure, right? everyone? What's the procedure? Stay calm. Okay, my name is the host uh, slash down. raid. I no. appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, Cali Soft, welcome in. Here's one of these Hello. for you. Hopefully, you like the video. Uh, it's my first like um, Genshin Impact trailer reaction. Like, like I said uh, in the video, I've streamed this game for ten months. I'm partnered with Hoyovers. And I've never seen those trailers, and I felt so bad. So I was like, I should probably watch these. So I'm glad. I hope you like the video. And thank you for checking out my stream. We are currently doing the Hu Tao story quest today that I've also never done. And so we're doing it for the first time today. And so far, it's really good. Well, hopefully you're having a great day so far. Uh, This was a Hu Tao trial. Oh, it was? I didn't know that. The rate notification keeps scaring me because I'm playing Genshin at the same time. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's a little loud today. It's a little loud today. Okay, Mike, thank you for that raid uh, slash host. You're way too kind. Let's do that. Perfect. By the way, did you finish the three gateway event? No, I did not. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to do that off stream if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, yeah, we did the uh, the fighting event today, though. The tag team one. I got all the primo gems and stuff for that, which I'm, I love that event. That was fun. But I'm not good at the, um, I don't know. That event, I don't think I'd be able to do on stream. I got too confused yesterday, you know? Rest in peace, free C3 Hu Tao trial gameplay. Dude, I want her at least C1. If she gets a rerun, I'm going for it. Like, for real. I want her C1 so bad. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Let's go here. The three great ways really long. I know it is. Yeah, I know. Um... And so I'm going to try to do it off 
off stream probably this weekend or something, you know? Speed up a little bit. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh. Have that. Let's go. Easy peasy. Too much content overload to handle. That's the thing. I'm always so far behind on everything because I'm always like doing the new events and stuff, right? So yeah. What it is. All right. Start. Watch this chat. Boom. I will have order. Easy. Let's go right in. Easy peasy. Finish him off, Ito. Platonically. Hey, can you stop? Hold on. Let me stop you in your tracks real quick. There we go. He's not dead yet? Hello? Okay, now you're dead. Took too long. Uh, fighting events are my favorite events. Honestly, same. Honestly, same. The fighting events are my favorite ones. Uh, MMV uh, underscore gay thing with a follow. I appreciate you. Welcome into the fam 44. Hope you're having a great day so far. We're stuck. The spirits have trapped us. No, I think we're good. Don't be daft. You put my mind at rest. Seems it's not easy for ordinary folks to cross over. So you set us up? Wait, what? Yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? Wait, oh, that's the hint. Oh my God. So when you guys kept saying, just keep going, that's what you meant. So I have to hold on to that thingy probably is what it is. Oh my God. A couple of my friends were bamboozled by this for a while. Dude, I mean, I'm a streamer. I dropped out of college. Do you get the hint? I mean, maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe I have to carry that thing with me. Oh my God. This took me way too long. Also, I'm burning alive right now. I see. Oh, because you probably collect all these little blue thingies. Okay, got it. Got it. That took me way too long. I'm so sorry. Do you lovely? How are you today? How have you been? We got a shot. Crispy towel. <laughs> Crispy towel. Oh my god, please no. This is probably my favorite quest to watch people play. Really? The spirits have trapped us. No, we're okay. We're okay. Don't be daft. You put my mind at rest. It's not easy for ordinary Okay, so let's carry this with us. So you set us up? Oh, yeah. If you don't have enough, then why not just carry it through a few more times? Let's see if this works, chat. And if you're lying to me again, dude, Edo might die. Oh my god, I might die. Chat, I might die. Chat, I might die. Chat, I might die. No, Edo, you got this, baby. You no! <laughs> dude, why do I suck at this game, bro? Oh my god. Okay, we gotta do that again. Oh my god, dude. Stamina beans? food. Beans? Think of the beans. I appreciate you. All right, let's try that again. Oh my god, dude. This is so bad. I'm going to make this a YouTube video, obviously, and it's going to be the worst Genjin Impact player plays Hu Tao Story Quest. All right, Ito, you got this. You can make it this time. Please don't die. You're getting very close to dying, and I'm not for it. All right, we got it, chat. Oh my god, you're fine. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Catch me. Do this. All right. Am I doing it right? I did. I do it right. Oh my! No, we're good. We're good. Shut up. We're shut up. We're good. Don't be Oh my God! That took me way too long to figure that out. How did you guys figure that out? How did you guys figure that out? I did it finally. Oh my God! Dude, that was funny. Exactly the point. Trespassers end up running scared. That was me. That's the weird stuff out of the way, right? He did it, people. He did it. I'm proud of you. Thank you, chat. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Yep. <laughs> Just dive off the edge here. I don't trust her. What? Oh my god, I really don't trust her. All right. Tally ho. I 
I was gonna I was so afraid that there was not gonna be water down there and I was just gonna die, dude. Goker splat. Now you jump off shit. See, I believed in you and you didn't disappoint. Thank Kiyasha, that means the world to me. That you believed in me. Thank you for believing in me. That makes me feel better about myself. Alright, let's go up here. Welcome to the farewell ceremony. Are we getting close to the end of the story quest chat? So feel free to have a look around and talk amongst yourselves. Soon you'll find out there's nothing special about this Whoa, place. Whoa, dude, this place is freaking beautiful, dude. It's like we're on the gateway to heaven. It's the lantern right again. Wouldn't it be cool Oh, it's a memory. Lanterns ourselves one day. You can make a wish without a lantern, you know. My mom told me. As long as you yell it really loud, your wish will come true in the future. Okay. It. Isn't that kind of embarrassing? As soon as the first person yells, then everyone else just joins in, and nobody feels embarrassed anymore. That is not true. I have tried clapping before. The be I was tried being the first person to clap at something, and nobody clapped with me. That's it was embarrassing. Right. Little Wu, you start. All right. I. I wish I could open a massive restaurant with never-ending dishes and snacks. So I could eat joy of you and chili chicken every day. Oh, dude, that would be good, though. <laughs> That's your wish. Hey, this is a no judgment free. This is a non judgment, no judgment free zone. Moo Moo. Hello. What do you want to be? If that's so funny, what's your wish? Yeah, what is your wish? Rich, of course. Do big business and make a load of mora. He wants to be a finance bro. Whatever you want and be happy. Oh, Moo Moo, money doesn't make you happy. Well, it does, but. Not everlasting happening. Yeah, if you get rich, you can buy that super expensive toy box. Not just one, one for everyone. No, loads for everyone. Well, if Momo's gonna be a businessman, then I don't need to earn any money. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Sugar daddy. Love it. Sugar oh, baby. Getting rich. Don't put all the pressure on me. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like, oh, you're gonna be rich. I can just be a housewife. As for me, I want to learn to make Ming Xiao lanterns. The big kind. <laughs> and Xiao lanterns, too. I'll be the best artisan around. Okay, good. At least you're getting a job. That way we don't need to go to Liyue Harbor to release Xiao lanterns. Hmm. The children door. I know that. Don't be weird about it. These kids have bigger dreams than me. <laughs> Facts, dude. Facts. At least they're thinking about what their future wants to be. I'll never know. Because I died. <laughs> right God when he was it. about to make his wish. And that's when he died. It brings back so many memories. That was the last lantern ride the five of us spent together. Oh. It's been so long. Everyone's all grown up. Have all those wishes really come true? They have come true. We asked each of them for parting gifts for you. Little Wu's become a chef. Momo's a successful businessman, and Tsongzo makes great shell lanterns. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. We've never forgotten our childhood dreams. We've kept them in our hearts as a promise to each other. Anyway, time to release this lantern. And he never got to grow up and, you know, live his dreams. Oh. Man. Hey, take a hint. What? Let's give them some space to go over the good old days. Okay, fine. Let's get out of here. Talk to Hu Tao while the old friends are reminiscing. What's up, baby? <laughs> Take the hint? Really? <laughs> of all of us, you're the one who needs to learn how to read the room. Yeah. Don't you need to guard the border? Monks already crossed the border. Oh. That's the only way to send Big G off. As I explained... Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was, once upon a time, more akin to a doctor's office than an actual funeral parlor. In the Archon War, piles of corpses covered the wilderness. People were plunged into misery and suffering. Disease was spreading all over the land. Death devastated the world of the living. That's dark. Such were the times when the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was first established. As humans, its founders were deemed too insignificant to matter. But slowly, huh. they managed to drive away death. They must have paid a huge price for that. After generations, 
Liyue Harbor became a bustling hub of prosperity, luring people with dreams of great fame and abundant mora. That's why I like but Liyue. In the end, some lunatics stirred up the legacy of the dead. Never mind. Turkey, 103 hours? Thank you so much. That's insane of you. Thank you, thank By you. By that, I mean the remnants of the defeated gods that ravaged the world. I won't go into specifics of that situation, but suffice to say that at its peak, life was on the verge of bringing about its own extinction. Hmm. While death was coming back with a vengeance, it took a long, long time. Longer than you'd think to restore balance and reinstate the border. Without it... Liyue Harbor as we know it wouldn't be here today. Neither would the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. You or me. Huh. Dude. Allie with 409 hours of watch time. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. Thank you so much. You are insane. <laughs> the previous directors all love to tell this one too. Although, if you ask me, I think I tell it best. You are a good storyteller. I will say what that. you make of my words is up to you. I do hope that most of it flew over your heads, though. The Wangsheng <laughs> Funeral Parlor is just that. A funeral parlor. Nothing more to it. Better. We live in peaceful times, but this harmonious coexistence between life and death should never be taken for granted. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's about time. Let's go. Let's take them to the place where all begins and all goes to rest. The womb. Okay. What kind of place is that? I just mean where we first bumped into each other. I come up with fun names for things sometimes, okay? I love her. Tell me with questions about every little thing I say. <laughs> Thank you for putting Paimon in her place. She looks so angry. God, I love her. I love Hu Tao. We did everything we could to make you happy, Big G, wouldn't you say? But if you ever really do become an evil spirit and come back with more nefarious nonsense in mind, I may have to forget our friendship and give you a far less fond farewell. Bro, don't mess with Hu Tao, dude. She will kick your butt. I won't. I promise. Oh, I love her. I'm grateful for everything you've done for me. Now that I know that my friends are doing so well, I have no intention to bother them. Well, that's good. That's good. I also want to thank you. You made my dream come true, too. So you should also mind my warning, Monk. If you won't let go of the past, I might reunite you two sooner than you think. What? What? <laughs> oh, my God. If you don't let go of the past, you two are going to be very good pals here very soon. A.K.A. I'm going to kill you. Do it. Who tell? <laughs> How can you say such horrendous things with that smile on your face? You don't even have to ask, was that a threat? That was a threat, dude. I'll kill you. I'll bury you. Well, then, last but not least, let's say our goodbyes to Big G. She's so sweet, but see a psychopathic later, murderer. G. Not like that. You won't be seeing him later. <laughs> see you but later, Big G. Goodbye and such. <laughs> no worries. I'll just take my leave. I'm sorry. Of all the wishes Wow, this is today, a cute quest, dude. Only ours hasn't come true. Nah. Don't be bothered by that. No life is without its regrets. You can leave in peace now. Bye, Big G. Right. I'll remember you all. Uh, goodbye. They did the thing. They did the thing. Like when you like pan and he's like there and he's not, not there anymore. <gasps> that was so good. He's gone then. I thought that closure would bring me relief, but all I can feel now is emptiness. <laughs> so, what was the wish you two made? We didn't have a chance to hear it earlier. Well, after each of us has started a family and built a career, we want both our families to spend the lantern right together. That's why I envy my friends so much. Little Wu and the rest, they all had a chance to fulfill their wishes. Mine, however, will remain just a dream. You still have a lot of time ahead of you. That's right. Also, think about this. Everyone gets burned to ash one day. <laughs> oh my god. So enjoy your life while you can. And when your duty to the living is over, you can meet whoever you want again in the afterlife. Isn't that great? <laughs> I love her. I appreciate and I love Hu Tao 15 times more now. I've used her 
since I got her. Never knew this much about her. Oh my god, dude. I love her. Everyone gets burnt to a crisp at one point. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. What do you say to that? Either way, I don't think I'll ever return to Wuwang Hill. I have a lot of feelings to process. Feel that, dude. No worries. It's a good opportunity for you to go on vacation. Consider your leave approved. Naturally, this doesn't change the terms of our previous agreement. The leave will be unpaid. <laughs> I'm not paying you. Bye, Mong. Uh, aren't you forgetting about something? You promised that you'll help us in our search. I took you to the border and let you have a look around, didn't I? But based on your reaction, it seems like you didn't find what you're looking Oops, for. Oops, my bad. It is a pity indeed. Wow, she played us, dude. The biggest pity of all is your lack of help. She played us. <laughs> I was fishing around on your behalf through the channels that aren't accessible to you. Unfortunately, I didn't find any leads worth pursuing either. Of course you didn't. I'll keep my eyes open in case anything crops up. If so, I'll be sure to let you know. Thanks, Hu Tao. You don't sound like you mean it. I don't think she means it. I'm not an expert on tracking down the living. However, if you want me to summon someone from the other side of the border... Oh, no, we're good. Saying creepy stuff. <laughs> Relax. I'll help you look for them. You have my word. Uh, my exquisite sense of humor always goes unappreciated. Seems like you really like your job. <laughs> I have my reasons. Reasons? The spirits we saw near the border are the dead that still long for the world of the living. Mm -hmm. But I've never seen any of the previous directors there. Not even once. Interesting. This means that becoming the director of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor was the right decision for them. And left them with no regrets. Oh, okay. Huh. And that's the Hu Tao story quest. Dude, that surprisingly was very good. That was like surprisingly really good. I did not expect to like that one. I'm going to be honest with you. Going into it inside my head, I was like, man, I hope it's good. I don't think it's going to like be that great, right? Like maybe like a Ganyu level. No. This was an amazing story quest and I I absolutely loved it. I will I will still say that Ganyu's is the weakest that we've done. Hu Tao is a very strong one. That one is like, that one's up there, dude. That was so good.